All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let them. Yeah, I'ma let them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let them. Good morning, vlog. It is Tuesday, November 22nd, I believe. Six days out of surgery, so um, feeling a little better. Arm feels pretty good. Leg is working back slowly, but uh, I'm able to walk on it. Have been going upstairs, getting back into normal things, but still doesn't feel 100%. Also, I'm gonna start putting like things on the screen, like right here, that like highlight what day it is and how how many days out from surgery I am, just so you guys can keep track of that. I'll outline the program for you guys here in a minute but um heading home tomorrow night gonna be home for thanksgiving on thursday and then um friday saturday and then leaving sunday night so gonna be home for a couple days gonna be nice to see my family and sleep in my own bed and eat some good food so excited about that stuff then come back here for about a week maybe a little bit more last week of classes like final exams and that stuff and then go back home for winter break which is about a month when we come back it's the spring so we'll be training for games and stuff or well I won't but the team will be but at that point I'll probably be pretty deep into rehab so which will be nice the stuff I'm doing right now is just kind of small so uh, I'm ready to kind of just move on from that already it's only been like six days but yeah so that's the itinerary for about the next month and a half I'm gonna show you guys my uh rehab program here it's hard to do everything with one hand guys here it's the rehab program there is four different phases of like my rehab process so phase one is just kind of like the protective phase so like just getting back range of motion um, and then just trying to decrease the pain and swelling and then just kind of getting used to using those muscles like my shoulder and my bicep and my hamstring and my leg again. Another thing is, is this brace every week is going to increase in range of motion. So right now, as you guys can see, like I can't move the brace. It only stays like this. So it's stuck at 90 degrees and this is for another day. So I'll have a little bit of range, a little bit of range of motion tomorrow. And then the week after that, I'll get my stitches out um, in both my arm and my leg. I think in a couple weeks, I'll also be able to start lifting lower body um, with my leg, but my leg is super, super weak. So it's going to be a lot of, uh, training to kind of get back to where my leg strength was before. Um, so probably going to just start out light, um, with my leg. So, uh, I'm excited to get back to lifting though, you know, like just sitting here and not doing much kind of sucks. So then we have the intermediate phase, which is three to the third to the eighth week, um, post-op so this is just uh, still gradually increasing the range of motion um, and then we're trying to promote healing of the tissue regain and improve muscular strength um, and then we're just going to keep adjusting the brace we're going to get the cardio work in again still going to work on shoulder and bicep stuff and just activating that weeks six through eight um, we're going to begin some internal rotation exercises um, and then uh, we're also going to initiate more cardio, progress leg and core strengthening program, initiate light forearm strengthening. Um, so that is kind of when I'll be able to do more stuff with my arm is those weeks six through eight because my brace will be off, which I cannot wait for because it's freaking awful trying to sleep with this thing. But yeah, that is phase two. So phase three is like the advanced strengthening phase. This is when I'm really going to kind of get into my rehab prep program so like all the stuff I was doing before surgery that I like posted in those videos um, is kind of what I'm going to be doing so kind of all that stuff all over again so that's basically what's going to strengthen my shoulder um, and then we're going to work on some internal external rotation stuff and uh, we're going to work on some forearm stuff as well about 23 weeks post-operation um, you're I'll be able to start doing like towel drills um which 
which is pretty cool. So that's about as close to throwing as I'll get before actually throwing in, um, after the six month phase, which is 24 weeks. Phase four um, is just return to the activity phase. So uh, this is when I'm gonna start my interval throwing program. We'll start at 45 feet and then progressively work back in a three month span before I get back to mound work at nine months. From the nine month to 12 month phase is the phase where you're just building up to being back to full strength. 12 months you're at full strength, but like the Dr. Meister kind of said that like, hey, like even at 12 months, most guys aren't 100% yet just because they have to kind of overcome the mental part of it and you know have to trust their bodies to be able to move the same way that it did before surgery. That's pretty much it. That's the, the rehab program, but that's a lot in a little bit of time here. What is this? I guess it's eight minutes, but um, probably for you guys it's not because I'll edit everything. But yeah, so this is the rehab program and uh, it's kind of the guidelines for it, but I kind of gave you just a really brief rundown of, I guess, what um, I'm gonna be doing over the next 12 to 14 months. But my mom is coming here in a little bit, gonna go get some breakfast, and then I'm gonna head over to the field, get some rehab done, because today is the last day uh, our trainer's gonna be here, because tomorrow we don't have class, and it's technically break tomorrow, so he's not gonna be here tomorrow, but. I'm going to be able to do my exercises here at home because most of that stuff I can do here anyway. So I'm going to go see him today after breakfast and then come back here and, I don't know, probably watch some TV. I've been watching this new Netflix show. It's called 1899, so it's pretty interesting, but um, it's pretty funny. Like You guys are going to see like pretty much my normal life in, in this. I don't really post content from like just what I'm doing during the day normally, so... That's what is going to be included in these videos. So I guess it's pretty, it's a new side of things, but I'm hoping you guys enjoy it. So uh, yeah, but going to head to breakfast and then hit the field and I guess get the day going. Just chilling in the bathtub, you know. Be cool if they put some bubbles in here so I could get my rehab in. You turn it on. Uh, I'm talking like some soap, get some <laughs> bubbles in here. That way that I won't have to shower. I rehab and I'm showering at the same time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? guys it is Wednesday we are about to head home it's November 23rd 630 it's been seven days since surgery so I've officially been unlocked from the old brace as you can see we got a little range of motion which is nice packing up everything to head home flight leaves at 830 I'm going from Columbia to Charlotte then Charlotte to Syracuse I got lucky on the flight home and got a complimentary upgrade to first class. So, <laughs> gonna be nice. lift. <laughs> My mom, on the other hand, did not. <laughs> she. I'll be a coach. <laughs> she'll be in the regular seating because <laughs> we didn't book our flights together. Dad booked my flight like a month ago and then I got hurt. So then she flew down here to like help me with stuff for the week. So the flights weren't booked together. So. I got lucky and got the upgrade. Well, she's going to have to sit in the regular seats in the back. So. Yep, in a middle seat. In a middle seat, by right. the way, which yep. is also pretty brutal. But we're about to head out and uh, head back to the crappy, cold New York weather. All right, guys, made it home last night safe and sound. First class is pretty nice. Pretty cool experience, but hopefully fly first class again at some point. But um, yeah, but it's Thanksgiving Day. Gonna get some good food, relax. It's kind of tough with this thing on, but you know we're managing, so should be a good day. Gonna get some good food and uh, enjoy the day with the family. It is Wednesday, November 30th. It is a big day today. Uh, get the stitches out of my arm today. Um, also get to change the brace today, so I won't have this hand piece on anymore. Thank God I hate this thing, but we're going to be switching it to this. So just be like a wrist piece or something. 
So excited about that. Gonna have a little more range of motion with my hand and hopefully gonna be able to do a little bit more stuff than what I've been doing with this brace here. But don't have to shower with um, the bags on anymore over my arm and my leg once I get the stitches out. So excited about that too. So we're taking a step in the normal direction here with things. So excited for a good day today. Got class this morning, unfortunately. Last week of classes for us, so got until Friday, and then uh, we have exams next week. So pretty busy next couple weeks, but I'm um, just gonna keep progressing with the arm. It's pretty much all I'm thinking about right now, honestly, just because I wanna get back into somewhat of a normal routine. So it's gonna be a good day today. You guys are gonna come along for the ride and uh, gonna make some breakfast and head to class and then head over to the field. Got my degree from a Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> We're taking the stitches out. Let's see what this looks like. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. Shouldn't have listened there with the light. Look at that. Nice. That is small. That's gotta be the smallest scar I've ever seen. All right, I'll just finished up editing this video. Didn't film an outro, also didn't really film a lot when I was at home. I was only at home for a couple days, so just wanted to, you know, kind of spend the time with my family and my friends. When I'm at home for like four days, I am super busy, so. I went to do rehab and totally just forgot to bring my camera like an idiot, but only got that little bit of footage from being at home. I'm heading home on Wednesday for winter break, so I'll be home for about a month, so gonna get a lot of footage when I'm back home, rehab and stuff like that, but gonna be able to start doing stuff on Wednesday, such as cardio, hopefully um, some lifting, lower body as well, but we'll find out on Wednesday what I can do when I get the stereo strips off of my stitches and after that I can keep the stitches out and uh, 
everything kind of returns back to normal minus the brace on my arm right here. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. Also, be sure to hit that little bell down there to get notified every single time I post a new video so you don't miss out on new content. Also, I'm going to start putting little recap videos of the vlogs on TikTok. So be sure to check those out. If you don't already follow my TikTok, it's just Roman Kimball. Be sure to search it up. It's down in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, guys. And I'll see you on Monday. Peace out, y'all.